tongue cheek. This so is your at home exercise. For the first exercise, I'd like for you to practice your breath. Because we what I'd like for you to think about is your ribs expanding out to the side. So you can choose to bring your hands around your body or to the sides of your body. Make sure that your pelvis is neutral. And Jake, if your back is bothering you at all, you can put this ball under your knees for the whole beginning of this series. So to start off with your um, hands around your wrist, so inhale and exhale. Just trying to get your breath in and out of your ribs for about five. Then you start to add your core engagement to that breath for another five repetitions. So that will look more like an exhale, really getting your core to funnel and draw it tight. All ten with your pelvis neutral. From there, you'll go into your pelvic rocks, inhaling to arch your pelvis. Exhaling to imprint your spine into the mat. As you do the work, you can put your hands on your legs or your hips to make sure that your pelvic, your legs are not working and your core is working. Once you do about five to ten of those, you'll switch to going right hip down, left hip up, and then center. And exhale, use your core to tip left hip down, right hip up. And inhale to center, and exhale to tip the other direction. And then inhale to center, and exhale, use your core to go the other direction. You'll do about five to 10 of those, and then you'll go into your pelvic clock, going three each direction. Again, noticing that your legs are staying relaxed. Once you've gone through that whole pelvic clock series, you'll move Oh, you'll actually keep your head rest still there, and you'll go into your opening of your legs as you inhale. Your exhale will pull your core back in and bring your legs to center. Again, you'll inhale to open, and exhale as you draw your legs back in using your inner thighs and core to bring them in. Then your pelvis really has to work to stay still as you bring your leg out to the side, just a single leg, and to center, and then the other leg out to the side without moving that pelvis, and then to center. And you'll do again about five of the double legs and five of the single legs, each one focusing on keeping your pelvis still. Then you move your headrest, and at this point, Jake, you can move the ball out from under your legs, and you'll go into your bridging, articulating through every bone, making sure your abdominals stay pulled in, always using your exhale to lift, checking that your knees are aligned with your sit bones, and exhale also to lower. And again, you'll do about three to five of those. Okay. From there, you're going to go into your shoulder reaches, so your arms will be to the ceiling, and you're going to inhale to reach your shoulders away from the mat, and exhale as you glide your shoulders back. Your fingertips will draw up closer to the ceiling as you inhale to reach, and they'll draw back to the floor as you exhale. Again, you'll do about five or 10 of those, and then bring your arms over your head, and inhale, reach your arms to the wall behind you, and exhale, draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Remember that your core is still engaged. Inhale to reach, and exhaling to engage your shoulders. This is how you're gonna set up your correct shoulder position. You're gonna do about five to 10 of those also, and then you're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Head is supported in your hands, shoulders are drawn down, pelvis is still in neutral, Jake, you can put your legs up on the ball if you needed to. And your exhale is going to engage your abdominal wall and you'll curl up your head, neck, and shoulders. At this point, you can look at your body and make sure your tummy is really pulled in, your pelvis is really in neutral, your neck is relaxed, and then you'll roll down. You're only going to do about three or five of these, making sure exhale to lift and inhale to lower. You're going to do all three to five. Perfect. Now that you have an awareness in your shoulders, you'll flip over onto your tummy. Your hands are going to be down the sides of your body. Your head turned to one side. You'll take a breath. And as you exhale, your shoulders will draw back. Your arms will reach. And you're going to curl up your head, neck, and shoulders. Lift your chest and turn your head to center. 
You'll then inhale, turn your head the other direction, repeat it again. It can still be effective and protective and somewhat gentle. The key on that is to make sure that you feel the work between your shoulder blades and that your core is supporting you. Exhale to lift, inhale as you come down. Your final exercise is quadruped. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're going to wave through your body starting from your head. Exhaling. This is going to be the core. So this is going to be the getting the breath and the abdominals. And inhaling. So what I want you to do is place your hands on your rib cage, the sides of your rib cage. Try to do it bone by bone, one at a time. Want you take the most air in that you can and feel the influence that the breathing in that rib cage has on your rib cage. What you should feel is that the ribs expand out to the sides. They will also expand to the front. And they should. After your walk, you come home, lie on your back, grab your strap. You can bend your knee, Jake, if your um, back is bothering you, or you can straighten it along the floor. It's up to you. And you'll do your three-way hip stretch. The first one is laid to the ceiling. Again, you're checking for your neutral pelvis and your core engaged. Then you'll bring it across your body, holding each of these for 30 seconds. Out to the side, making sure your core stays engaged and hips stay connected. And once you get through all of those on each leg again, you can be bent. Then you'll stand up, or you can just roll over onto your tummy, and you'll do your thigh stretch. If you're standing, you're working on balance. Make sure your knee is in line with the other knee, or you can just flip onto your tummy, and again, bring your heel towards your tush. That's your whole series. Thank you so much.